Right. Guy Allen's Circuit of Britain, Leg 5 Prologue. This is what Guy's put up ahead of our ride this week. Um, it's raining, it's windy, it's cold. It wasn't meant to be like this. I'm on a train to Stroud with my good friend Peter, that's Peter Smith. And tomorrow we start Leg 5 of my Circuit of Britain. A couple of days ago, the forecast was 16 degrees and a tailwind from the south with a 20% chance of rain. That now looks like 70% uh, chance of rain tomorrow. That's today, which is Monday. And riding into a headwind. Uh, Hey-ho, we like a challenge. Uh, this leg of the journey hopefully takes me to Anglesey because uh, guys going all, around, all the way around Britain and uh, in different sections, you know, a week long, uh, a, week, a week at a time. Uh, taking a, yeah, a couple of hundred miles at a go, each go. Um, uh, this leg of the journey hopefully takes me to Anglesey, which feels like a bit like the Welsh equivalent of Land's End, which he's done fairly recently. Um, a route that I really struggled with psychologically. Luckily, later in the week, I have Dave, that's me, uh, joining me for four days of the ride, so hopefully these mental doubts that plagued me in Cornwall will be dispersed by Dave's scintillating company. Yeah, right. Um, highlights, I'll be toiling away at the back, I'm sure. Uh, highlights of the week to come include passing through and over Ironbridge and a day cycling in the middle of nowhere on the way to Bala and then traversing Snowdonia on the bikes. I know Peter is desperate for a beer, so I'll keep this short and sign off for now. Update tomorrow once I dry off. So, um, here I am in Birmingham. Um, I'm going to be uh, hitting the road in about 45 minutes uh, to rendezvous with uh, Peter. And, uh, and Guy in uh, Droitwich Spa, um, after which uh, a couple of beers tonight and something to eat, and then tomorrow we'll be off to Shrewsbury. So, more later. Oh, well, here goes. Well, here I am. Uh, on the south side of Birmingham. I've come down the A441 because I can't follow the directions on the uh, on the Garmin. It just doesn't work. The screen's all wet, it's horrible. Uh, it's so noisy because I can't hear the directions for when to turn. But I know my way down to uh, Droitwich. I'll follow Redditch. I'm on the A441 at the moment. It's so wet and mucky today. But uh, I'll get there. Right, Guy you, Allen. Guy Allen, right? David. You're going to tell me why you're doing this circuit of Britain. Because I was inspired by someone who cycled the Iron Curtain Trail. I read his book, realised I wasn't that much of a man, and I decided I would do something I could do. Yeah, thanks very much. What's your excuse? Um, Guy just told me we're going out for a beer and bring my bike. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing I knew, I, I was cycling 60 rain. miles in the pouring yeah. rain. <laughs> okay, it's day two, everyone. We are going from Droitwich to Shrewsbury. Hey! <laughs> Well, here we go, day two, five, <sighs> five kilometers in. What's that in real money? Three miles or something? Five kilometers in real money. Yeah, yeah, three miles. First puncher. Guy though, not me, thank God. Dodgy ferry crossing. I don't think we're going to do it, are we? We're not going to go for this. Straight into Bridge North, I think. Straight into Bridge North.
Well, here we are on Ironbridge after a hard, hard ride, a lot of climbing, to take this iconic picture. <laughs> oh dear, what do you think of that? My, uh, slightly disappointing, if I'm really honest. <laughs> Though the town's nice. The town is lovely, yeah, the town's lovely. Oh, I'm nearly at uh, Shrewsbury now. Oh, it's been such a hard day. Then about 3,000 feet of climbing, and it's uh, up and down and up and down from Droitwich. So, uh, a couple of miles to go, and then a good rest before we head into the mountains tomorrow. Hard day, though, hard day. Right, Guy, give me your reflections on yesterday. Of course, we've said. I'll see you later, Mr. Peter. What did you think of yesterday's ride? I'm just hoping you can go a bit faster, Dave, really. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. It was dry. We're not at work. We're not at the desk. It's fantastic. You don't work. I work. We're not at work. So, yeah, we're not at work. And, and what are your hopes and aspirations for today? Well, uh, getting to the hotel by three so I can write my blog. Okay, well, I guess we look forward to that. Don't we? Ah, so here we are, west of uh, Shrewsbury. Fantastic lanes, beautiful day. Makes up for all the crap we had to deal with on the first day. So, uh, I don't know, how many miles are we in? Miles in? 14 miles in and about a 45 mile day. Big climbs to come though. Oh man, we did it. We're which one of us, which one of us is exhausted and which one could go and do it all again? Oh, we're absolutely battered, my legs are absolutely <laughs> battered. Battered and bala. what a climb. But anyway, it's flat all day tomorrow, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, 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 until the, after 10k it gets a after. Oh, it. shit. <laughs> oh, what a day today. We had a uh, fantastic start. The weather was warmer than it has been all week. Uh, sunshine came out. And riding along the lanes from Shrewsbury, heading west towards Snowdonia, it was just brilliant. Quiet roads, absolutely fantastic. And although it stayed quiet and it's been a great day, oh man, what a climb that last climb was. So I don't know, I have to check uh, the Garmin, but I think it was almost like a thousand feet of climbing. It was um, in one relentless climb. So I didn't have my eye on the, uh, on the watch, so I don't know how long it took anyway. But uh, managed to get up there on the uh, 28 cog um, and the 30 on the back and 34 at the front, uh, and with a big bag on the back with all my gear in as well. So um, I'm pretty pleased with that. So we're now um, in this pretty ropey hotel in um, in Bala. Um, what time is it? It's uh, 25 to 5. So it's been a pretty good day. I'm promised an even harder day tomorrow. So. I'm going to relax tonight.